What is up you guys? So this is going to be a tutorial showing you guys how to do this map transition using Google Maps, which is inspired by Andreas Hem's GTA in real life video. So I know this is going to be a long video, so let's get started. So you're going to need to download Google Earth Pro for this. So I just downloaded it and basically you could just search for the location that you want and then you can press the down arrow key up here on the right corner to make it an overhead shot because you want it to be like an overhead shot and then you want to make sure all these layers are not checked off. Okay, so we can go to file, save and save image to get the shot that we want. So I'm I'm happy with this. So I'm just going to keep the resolution at um 1920 by 1080. You can actually bring it to a higher resolution if you want, but I'm just going to keep it at 1920 by 1080. And then I'm going to press save image and just save it to my desktop. And then you want to get like a closer shot too, so we'll just zoom in a little bit. And I'm happy with this shot, so I'm just going to save image once again. Okay, so once you're done saving your images, let's open Premiere Pro. And then we're just going to drag our two images that we took at the harbor. Okay, so basically we have our image right here, and you're going to need to get something from Google, like a cloud image. So I just have one cloud here, and this will work fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to key out the blue part. So let's search up color key in effects and just add that to our cloud image. And then we can get the dropper and just press the blue parts of the cloud picture. And then if we go to the tolerance and drag it to the right, it'll key out all the blue parts. And you kind of want to maybe adjust the edge thinning so you don't get the blue edges and also adjust the feathering. So just play around with that. And then you can also adjust the opacity as well. If you don't want it to be so harsh, I guess. Okay, so once you have something you like, you can play around with the scale. So, so for this one, I'm just going to adjust the position to go to like the left. And then just scale it up like a lot. So it looks like we're going through the clouds, kind of. And then you can also just keep adjusting the color tolerance as well. If you want like a sort of less cloud effect, I guess. And then what you can also do is just hold Alt on the cloud image and then drag it to the third layer and then we can and then we can adjust this layer to be in a different direction. So I'll just put it at the top corner, I guess, and we can scale it to make it smaller. Okay, so once you get to something you like, you can actually just drag the two images and select both of them and then press Command D and then nest the clip. So basically the two pictures will become one layer, which is pretty convenient to move around and it'll make things easier. Okay, now in Andreas's video, he has like a camera shake effect, so it doesn't look so... It doesn't look like a picture, basically. So I made a preset already, and you can just download it in my description. But the thing is, is that the movements aren't looking so good for this clip. Um, so we're gonna have to maybe delete the other keyframes and just adjust it so that it's going a bit slower, because that was way too fast. Or you could just make the clip longer and... Um, adjust the keyframes. So basically you can also make your own camera movement effect but I basically just adjusted the position to um, go in all sorts of directions. So just adjust the keyframes and spread them out so that they're going in a nice matter I guess. <laughs> and you can also right click and go to time interpolation and you can and you can try to make the keyframes a bit more smooth. So I'm just going to change this to Continuous Bezier. And if we got all our keyframes that we like, we can just select all our keyframes and then press Command C. So we can also just go to our top two nested clips because I duplicated it earlier because I made the, the effect go a little bit longer. So I'm just going to nest it to make one nested clip again. And then we can press Command V on our keyboard and just paste all those keyframes. So now both the clouds and the uh, picture are moving with the camera shake effect but the thing is is that they're both moving in like kind of the same way which is not realistic so you can kind of reverse the keyframes to go in a different order so that um, the effect looks a little bit cooler because the clouds are moving in a different direction as how the actual clip is moving I guess okay now let's move on to our second image so let's just drag it up and then we can also press Command V on our keyboard to add that camera shake effect on this one, and that looks that's looking pretty good. And then you can also press Alt and select the nested sequence, and then just add it to our second layer as well, so both of them have this effect. 
Okay, now in Andreas's video, he has like a sort of like cloud brightness effect, I guess. Because you can see that the clouds kind of go brighter as he zooms closer into the subject, I guess. So at the end of our clip, before the end of our clip actually, we can go to the opacity and just change it to like 38% to make it lighter. Whatever number you think looks best. And then at the end of the clip, we'll just change it to 100. And then we can move on to our next set of clouds and at the beginning of the clip, we can keep the opacity at 100 and then press the keyframe button and then go one frame forward and just change that to 38%. So now it sort of flashes as the clip goes. Okay, so you can actually be done here, but what you can do is scale the two images uh, in a bit because you can see that in the corner there's this little like ugly um, thing that says untitled map or something. So yeah, we can just scale that in so you don't see that. Okay, now this whole next part is completely optional, but what you can do is make like the ship move so it kind of looks like it's like a real drone footage or something. So we're just gonna move the nested sequence of our second clip up to the third layer and then we're gonna press Alt on our image and then just drag that up to the second layer. So now we have two copies of the clip. Now we can go to our second layer and then we can go to the opacity and go to the pen tool and then we can create a mask out of the ship to make this move. So let's just use the pen tool and create a little mask of the ship. And honestly, this is not going to look good. This is just for the sake of the tutorial, so I'm going to do this very quickly. Okay, once you created a little mask out of the shape, and then you can turn the eye off. Okay, once you created a mask out of the shape, you can go to the position and just un undo the clock watch of the keyframe so that we don't have this footage shaking. And then you can just adjust the position a little to the left so we can see the difference. Okay. Now let's turn the eye back on for our bottom layer and then now you can see there's like a duplicated ship on the side and oh wow that masking was terrible but I'll fix it later. So basically we can have the ship moving so why don't we make it move in a straight line. So let's go to the position and we're going to press this clockwatch keyframe button but we can just move the position down a bit. So let's press the clockwatch and then we can go to the end of the clip and just drag, drag that Y axis down so that it moves forward. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. So one more thing you can add is the smooth zoom transition and I actually have a tutorial on this So I'm not gonna go into full detail on how I'm doing this But yeah, just watch my tutorial and it'll be fine So I searched for Aloha Tower, which is a place in Hawaii and I searched that on Google Maps and this video clip was taken at Aloha Tower So they're both taken at the same place So basically I brought this clip in and you can also use the smooth zoom transition to uh, scale into this clip as well so it'll be a cool little effect and I'll leave a tutorial link in the description so yeah that's a whole tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys